Good morning and welcome back to Life in Every Season. I hope you're having a great day so far. Um, we're excited because we are on the very end of our renovation project, which means we get to return some materials that we bought as early as January of this year. Um, we overbought, of course, because with all of the shortages, we just didn't know what we were going to need, when we were going to need it. But today, we're going to be taking you into Elizabethton, Tennessee, and we're going to return our flooring, and we're going to show you a little bit of the countryside on the way there. It's really beautiful. And let me show you what we're returning. If you will take a peek inside my car. We had six boxes of flooring left over. That's a few there, and then we've got some more in the back. So we're going to take that back today and get a few other little supplies of a few things that we're going to need done um, under the house, and we're just going to kind of exchange it for other supplies. But we are at the end, folks. I'm so relieved, and we'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. mentioned in the last video that we're down to a punch list and we're almost complete with the reno. I've got a few more items I'm going to take care of because I can. I don't need special tools that I don't already have. So instead of having the contractor do it, which he's down to one day and he'll be done, uh, we've got other things that uh, he has more expertise than I do. And I'll let him do that. But Today, I'm going to finish up. We need quarter round trim around the top of the ceiling. Uh, it's not painted, it's primed, but I need to uh, paint it white. So I'll take you outside and do that. I need to do baseboard in the entire room. And I think this room will be complete. So we'll check our list and see if there's anything else to do. And now we'll go outside. All right, let's get started painting. While I'm painting, I thought I would talk to you about why we are painting. We wanted to get this remodel done as quick as we could, but also within budget. So part of that meant that Kelly and I took on all the painting and polying, uh, cleanup, Things we're not good at are electrical and plumbing and things that require more strength than Kelly and I can do together or we can do solo. So luckily we found a contractor, Dale Haygood, that would help us to achieve our dream, our goal. This is house number eight. Kelly mentioned we did a 
gut rehab of a farmhouse built in 1941. So we had some experience. That took us five years to get anywhere near where we are here with the renovation. Here we're about nine months in and we're about a total year from the time that we started looking for a place here in Tennessee to live. We think it's worked out well for our sanity and the timeline to do these things like painting, but it's meant the sacrifice of all of our free time. We didn't hike, we didn't kayak the last nine months. We spent all of our free time painting, cleaning. So just be prepared. It sounds great. I'm going to do all this work, but in the end, at the end, it is work. It is very gratifying to do it yourself, but you will get tired and you will get worn out, but don't. Don't let that beat you down. It, there is an end. All right, I'm going to be quiet and just speed up the video and play some music. back of my truck to cut some baseboard which is already painted the quarter rounds drying on the saw horses I don't have another set so I'll use the truck bed or truck uh, gate and we'll uh, put our safety glasses on and make a few cuts and then we'll go in and install a few pieces Alright, we got this first piece cut. It was easy. Just black cut, no miter cuts. Let's hit it with a couple brad nails. We can get the gun to work. There we go. Alright. We'll just move around the room. And I'll show you the finished product in a little bit. All right, last piece for the top, and we'll have just a little bit around the door. So we've got the 
baseboard in, trim on the top. We got some trim down the side. It kind of covered up the rough edges, which is all trim does. And this room is our spare bedroom. The reason this tabletop's here, because it's our spare bedroom, it's also going to be the sewing and craft room. So we saved a couple of the old base cabinets out of the kitchen, bought an eight foot butcher block, put it on top, and there you've got a craft room or a sewing room. All right, I love doing trim work. <laughs> I forgot to mention, like any good remodel project, we end the day with either the shop pack or the vacuum cleaner, because you've always got a mess to clean up, including me walking in and out of the house to make the cuts. So I was bringing things in with the bottom of my shoes. Yeah, it's a process. It'll keep you busy. You want to join a gym? This is the finished product. We have baseboard down. We have the quarter round in the corner, as you can see right there. And we've got it running across the top. Like I said, to me, trim just covers up the ugly. And put a little piece of natural pine here in the corner which matches the walls the ceiling is pickled pine and so is this wall two walls are natural and I also move the bed And we have baseboard down there and, and around to the other side of the room. So thanks for joining me this afternoon. This is my process for doing trim. And it's not structural, so I don't worry too much about how good or bad of a job I do. I say bad, but I want it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect because I know this isn't holding up the house. It's just covering up the ugly spots. All right, thanks for joining me.